Welcome to the HFY Tales channel. Remember to like and subscribe if you like the story. Enjoy and take care. In a far-flung corner of the galaxy, where vibrant stars danced around nebulous gas clouds, there lay the Intergalactic Academy, an elaborate structure teeming with beings of countless shapes and colors. Each species brought its own story, yet all shared a unified goal, peace. Among them were Rila, a fiery three-eyed Zarnite known for her insatiable curiosity. Kreev, the gentle giant of the Throx race whose bark-like skin hit a heart of gold. And Vex, a lithe Kivirian, ever restless and drawn to mischief. One day, as they lounged in their favorite common room woven with alien technology, the subtle hum of discussions filled the air. Vex overheard a group of upperclassmen recounting chilling tales about human children. They're notorious, one hissed, wide-eyed. The reason adults fear human children is that they seem weak, yet harbor an unimaginable power. There are legends of human kids who have overthrown corrupt leaders with just their wills. Rila leaned closer, intoxicated by the thrill of the unknown. Legends? Or misguided stories? She asked, a boldness igniting within her. We can't trust them without proving otherwise. Kreev frowned, a deep furrow forming on his brow. But what if they're hiding something? We have to explore. This isn't just gossip. It's a quest for truth. A spark ignited in Rila's eyes. Then let's go to Earth. We'll see for ourselves what makes human children feared throughout the galaxy. Vex grinned wickedly, the thrill of adventure rushing through his veins. Just imagine the chaos we might unleash. Let's do this. Fueled by their growing excitement, the trio made a pact that day, setting their sights on Earth, convinced that the truth behind these human children would redefine everything they thought they knew. The composition of excitement filled the air throughout the academy as Rila orchestrated their plans, gathering supplies and information about Earth. We'll need cloaking devices, data logs for documentation, and if we're lucky, some human clothes to blend in, she said, her eyes dancing with mischief. As Vex delved further into written records about Earth, he chuckled. Listen to this, he read aloud. Humans are notorious for their intense emotions, their negotiation tactics, and their resilience, and their penchant for trouble. He shot a sideways glance at his friends. Creve chuckled, but his expression turned serious. These abilities seem more about their social adaptability than raw power. Regardless, we must tread cautiously. The debate escalated as they delved deeper into their research. Some records spoke of human children forming bonds that crossed cultural boundaries, defying expectations, and creating chaotic harmony. What if we're not the only ones shocked? Rila wondered. What if they're just misunderstood like we are? We need to find out if the fear comes from them, or from us. In the days leading to their departure, a nagging thought haunted Vex. What if the first humans we contact are aggressive? Wouldn't it be ironic if we discovered that fear was right all along? He mused, edging on panic. Then it's even more crucial we learn how to approach them, Rila determined, unwavering. They decided to draft a strategy. They would observe from the shadows first, gathering insights about human behavior before making direct contact. Finally, the day arrived. Their cloaked ship descended into the atmosphere with an exhilarating jolt and the trio emerged into the vibrant hues of Earth, a stark contrast to the expanse of space they were used to. The terrain was green, mixed with bustling sounds of life, a festival of colors unfolding in front of their eyes. Upon landing in a quiet suburban neighborhood, they stumbled upon curious sights, children playing hopscotch, their shouts echoing around the block. This place is teeming with life, Rila whispered, barely able to contain her excitement. Vex squinted at a nearby tree, sensing something was off. I have a bad feeling. How should we handle ourselves? We'll just watch for now, Creve reassured. Let's go to that park. As they ventured toward the vibrant playground, regardless of the overwhelming chorus of laughter and shouts, an undercurrent of fear clung to Vex. What if they notice us? Trust the process, Rila said firmly. They settled behind a hedge to spy. Their hearts beat faster as they saw human kids, unguarded and full of spirit. They darted through the air, chasing each other with pure joy. Look, 
We get to see their innocent nature, Rila gasped. Through the laughter, shouts, and playful chaos, the aliens were engulfed in the spontaneity of human childhood. But then, their eyes caught glimpses of another dynamic. A boy stepped into the center, his posture radiating authority, demanding attention. Everyone, let's build the biggest fort ever, he roared, rallying kids toward a pile of leaves and sticks. Hold on, was he bossing them around? Vex muttered incredulously. This doesn't feel right. Is there a hierarchy among children? As the children scrambled to follow him, a girl among them hesitated. Wait, what if we all build our own? She challenged. Uncertainty flickered through the group as they exchanged wary glances. The boys' faces contorted with confusion. But that'll take forever, he retorted, frustration bubbling beneath the surface. An argument erupted, tempers flaring, voices rising. Is this what fear is? Creve wondered aloud. Are we witnessing a battle of wills? Rila's instincts flared. This is a key moment. Let's see how it unfolds. The girl stepped forward boldly, a small yet defiant figure. No, we can build together, but we should all have a say. The boy scoffed, seemingly unprepared for opposition. Vex felt his heart race. She's standing her ground, he gasped, overwhelmed by excitement rather than fear. But then something unexpected happened. The boy scoffed again, mocking her, clearly angry. In that moment, the atmosphere shifted palpably. Fear rippled through the gathering crowd, but it was rooted in the uncertainty of how they'd respond to confrontation. Let's go, girls. Build your own cool fort. I'll make the biggest one without you. He stormed off dramatically, leaving them deflated. Rila looked at her friends, realization dawning. Human kids aren't simply ruled by instincts. They navigate complex social dynamics. We need to see how they overcome this. The rest of the children exchanged uncomfortable glances, and soon one of the girls spoke up. Come on, let's make something together, she called after him, rallying with newfound courage. They hesitated at first, but gradually smiles returned, and laughter glimmered in their eyes. Rila's heart fluttered. She witnessed resilience. Maybe they're learning, she thought, not through fear, but by pushing back against it. With anticipation guiding them, the trio recognized the lessons playing out before them. Fear, courage, and the power of collaboration. Their perceptions began to shift, enhancing their desire to dig deeper into this human experience. Plunging back into the playground filled with laughter, Rila, Creve, and Vex cloaked themselves in their shimmering technology and became silent observers once more. The vibrant chaos unfolded like a thrilling play and they found themselves drawn deeper into the narrative of humanity. The children had seemingly recovered from their earlier confrontation. They built together, rekindling camaraderie and spreading newfound joy. Rila felt a weight lift. The earlier scene was less about fear and more about a desire to belong. Look, Rila pointed toward a circle of kids engaging in a complex game filled with whispered rules. They're strategizing. This is such a deeper level than we imagined. Vex leaned nearer, curiosity peaking as he caught snippets of conversation. If you can outrun me, I'll help you build the fort first, one kid shouted. Another immediately challenged back. We should pick teams. Let's make this fair. Creve chuckled softly. They're negotiating, finding balance in their chaos. However, just as the camaraderie thrived, a new occurrence set the stage ablaze. The boys and girls gathered turned their attention to two figures stepping gingerly into the playground. Two adults, both looking stern. Uh-oh, Vex whispered nervously. What are they doing here? The children fell silent, confusion and uncertainty sweeping through them. What's going on? One girl whispered, glancing toward her friends for reassurance. Hey, who's running this playground? The adult shouted, startling the children. Rila's heart raced with a mix of curiosity and concern. The adults bore authority. Their mere presence threw an invisible shadow over the laughter that had just taken flight. Uh-oh, Vex murmured again. I don't know how this will go. Creve leaned closer. It's crucial for us to observe. This could be a defining moment. Then Lila, the earlier assertive girl, stepped forward, meeting the adults with a determined stance. We are. We're playing, she declared, her voice steady yet wavering amid the tension. Playing doesn't mean you can just be loud and run wild, the adult countered, arms crossed. 
You need to adhere to the rules. But we're having fun, and we were just starting to build a fort, Lila retorted, emboldened by the backing of her peers. Tension mounted. Rila felt her palms sweat as she held her breath, awaiting the adult's next move. Creve stood strong, his determination aligning with Lila's courage. Children need space to be free, Rila whispered. They learn from experience. As the adults challenged Lila's assertive stance, the energy in the air shifted again. Fear and defiance danced in perfect synchrony, and something magical began to transpire. The children rallied around Lila, chanting encouragement. The pressure had built, yet within it, a spirit of unity ignited. Who made these rules anyway? One boy shouted. They can't stop us. The adults hesitated, clearly caught off guard by the surge of collective courage. The laughter returned like fireworks, each voice echoing with truth. Lila stood tall at the center, the embodiment of bravery, urging her fellow children to stand against the looming authority. A sudden roar of laughter exploded from the children. We can help too, they called, emboldened, their spirits intertwined in defiance against the apparent restrictions. Rila, Creve, and Vex watched in awe. This is incredible, Rila whispered, mesmerized by the children's willingness to unite against authority, a lesson echoing through their hearts. They're redefining courage. You see, Vex, Creve added gently, it's not about how they act, but how they connect with one another. The adults, though flustered, exchanged glances. It was an impromptu negotiation, a dance of curiosity meeting defiance. Sensing the rise of a burgeoning movement, they could neither quell it nor contain it. We're just here to ensure everyone is safe. But it seems you have an important point. Maybe we can structure your games better. How about we share some rules together? One adult proposed, softening under the weight of humanity's spirit. Lila, quick to seize the moment, nodded eagerly. We can all build something amazing if we work together. As the adults drew near and acknowledged the children's ideas with curiosity, the boundaries of fear slowly dissolved, affirming that connection, rather than isolation, reigned supreme outside the confines of authority. The once muted space evolved triumphantly, rippling with shared smiles and vibrant responses. With the adults promising to listen, the children's laughter lifted once more, weaving through the air, blooming with euphoria. A whirlwind of excitement encompassed Rila's heart, demanding she take it all in. This was truth and connection stirring the cosmos. They're learning empathy, power, and unity, she whispered in a hushed, awe-filled exchange with Creve and Vex. I can't believe this. They are transforming their circumstances, Vex cheered, energy thrumming beneath his skin. It's not just play, it's existence, Creve exclaimed, noticing the fierce spirit of humanity dazzle before them. As the sun dipped down, casting golden hues upon the playground, the air carried newfound promise. The game began again, igniting a celebration of imagination rather than just fear, a cosmic dance of understanding that was destined to unfold. After the empowering encounter with the adults, Rila, Creve, and Vex felt reinvigorated. They returned the next day, intent on engaging directly with the children instead of merely observing. This time, cloaking technology secured and buzzing with palpable anticipation, they made their way to the playground and finally unveiled themselves. Hey, Vex called, this time without hesitation, revealing their presence. The children turned, eyes wide with a mixture of wonder and shock. What are you? A startled girl shouted, inching back. The earlier sparks of camaraderie destabilizing as uncertainty flooded the gathering. Rila stepped forward, ready to share their intent. We come from the Intergalactic Academy. We want to learn from you and understand your world. Her words broke through the immediate rush of panic. Lila, who had bravely challenged authority, stepped to the front again. Really? You want to learn from us? She eyed them curiously, trying to gauge if they posed any real threat. Yes, we witnessed how unique your interactions are, Creve added, his kind demeanor softening the group's tension. You've shown us something extraordinary, how you navigate authority and conflict. Are you sure? We're just kids, piped up another boy. What do you really want? We want to listen, to understand what makes you brave and why you are so strong together, Rila answered earnestly. Fear can keep us apart, but we believe there's power in unity. Unity? Lila echoed, her brow furrowing. 
like stand-together unity. Yes, Vex exclaimed, excitement bubbling within him. We marveled at how you handled that authority figure. You guys were amazing. A murmur of intrigue rippled through the children, subtle yet promising. What about you? Can you do any cool alien stuff? A boy blurted out, brightening the mood. We might have some interesting skills, Rila replied, her eyes dancing. But we want to learn from you first, before we show you what we can do. The children exchanged glances, evidently unsure yet intrigued. All right, but if you're going to hang with us, you have to play our games too, Lila declared. Vex grinned, eagerly suggesting, How about we all create challenges together? Alien human activities. With an undercurrent of doubt weaving through the air that gradually transformed into elation, the kids quickly agreed. Let's build a gigantic fort together, Lila suggested, enthusiasm bubbling over in her eyes, inspiring others to rally behind her. As they worked together, the children shared stories about strengths and vulnerabilities, illustrating the crayons of human nature. The aliens eagerly hopped into the flow, joining the toiling collective heightening the fabrication of creativity. Suddenly, but not out of the blue, Lila chimed in. Can we look into your powers too? What can you do as an alien? Vex puffed his chest out theatrically. I can sprint. Watch this. He darted forward, dashing across the playground with a speed that left many of the children gasping in awe. And I can change. This is just the beginning. Nervous yet spirited laughter filled the air, naturally intertwining their personalities as they expanded into this new collaborative environment. Rila engaged in playful challenges, showcasing art and offering insight into their ethereal existence. Yet, lingering feelings of fear and hesitation remained, woven into their interactions. Vex caught on to the subtleties of fear within Lila's expression when she challenged him. But what if we tear down that fort tomorrow? she voiced, her insistent posture clashing with the enchanting atmosphere. How about this? They may tell stories of fun and adventure as we rebuilding it together. We'll secure it, Creve soothed, a wall of reassurance brushing against Lila's worries. Unity outweighs fear, remember? At that moment, they decided to build a tower that would last, solidifying the foundation of their bond. Each child contributed their unique talent, expressing visually what fear felt like. Instead of containment, freedom swept through the playground. Yet another surprise emerged. A sudden gust of wind caught a child's scarf and whisked it away, threatening to topple everything they built together. Startled, the children halted, fear returning to their eyes. But Lila quickly took charge. Stay calm, everyone grab something. Let's secure our creation. With agile teamwork, they held the fort steady, even as the wind howled, calling upon their collective strength. See. Together we hold, Rila cheered, her heart swelling with pride as the fort remained standing. The children soon rallying together, defying the natural chaos, filled the air with laughter, each second magnifying the camaraderie they had discovered. Rila felt a flicker of something greater. Lessons transcended simply into emotions. These were humanity's hidden treasures. This, she thought, exhilaration blooming within, is how they grow, push through fear, and cultivate bravery. As the sun began to set, casting its golden hue across the playground, Rila, Creve, Vex, and their newfound friends stood amidst their creation, smiles abundant. In that moment, beneath a glorious midsummer sky, they realized what it meant to unite beyond species. Rather, be the bridges between worlds. Days merged into a symphony of laughter and shared creativity. The intergalactic friendship flourished, and the children of Earth became ever more entwined in a journey of growth. However, beneath the surface, an undercurrent of fear lingered, a subtle but persistent shadow that could still cast doubt upon their unity. One particular sunny afternoon, as the group tackled their daily games and whimsical adventures, tensions arose again, this time rooted deeper than simple argument. A new girl had joined them, drawn in by the strange aliens and their mesmerizing stories. Yet as she integrated into their group, unease flickering beneath her surface rapidly rose. Why do you even hang out with them? She asked Lila, crossing her arms. They're just weirdos in costumes. And what kind of games are we even playing? Lila blinked. Concern played across her face. What do you mean? They're our friends. Look at how fun we all can be together. 
an uncomfortable silence hung overhead as the wind shifted, spreading doubt throughout the assembly. Anxiety rippled through Vex, Creve, and Rila as they sat back, bracing themselves for the storm to erupt. I think they're just pretending to be nice, the girl pressed further. What if they just want to trick you? Trick us? Vex exclaimed. We're not here to trick anyone. We want to learn. As murmurs filled the children, the fear spread slowly through their expressions, uncertainty flickering within their gazes. Rila felt a tightness in her chest, the epiphany dawning on her. The seeds of suspicion had taken root within their new friendships. The new girl's words nodded the group's self-assurance. You don't know what they want. They could be dangerous. She emitted a sharp laugh, and though it appeared humorous, sadness crept into her tone. Creve felt frustration swell within him, wanting to intervene but unsure how to dismantle this potent stagnation of fear. He cleared his throat. Actually, humanity thrives on stories of fear and hope. But what if they're true? The new girl retorted fiercely. We can show you, Rila interjected, determination pooling within her heart. Let's exhibit our connection. Let's explore this together, all of us. We can share our stories. They decided to set a challenge, a gathering of truths, a sharing of fears, unveiling their vulnerabilities alongside experiences to let go of misunderstandings. Before long, everyone agreed, an earnest connection stretching between them all. As the sun dipped toward the horizon, coloring the sky in hues of orange and purple, the children found a cozy spot near the fort they had constructed together. They formed a circle, human and alien alike, vulnerability shimmering in the air. Okay, Lila began, her voice firm yet shaky. Let's share things that scare us, but also what makes us brave. Her courage rekindled the spirit of honesty. I'll start. I'm afraid of rejection. The thought of someone not liking me is terrifying. A silence enveloped them for a brief moment before a boy piped in. Me too, but I also fear letting my friends down. Gradually, the children began exchanging different fears. The new girl hesitated before finding her voice. I... I'm scared of the world outside this neighborhood. I worry things could change. I'm afraid of heights, one child admitted, fidgeting nervously. I think I might fall. Vex shared. I'm terrified of failure, of not being able to meet expectations. But I want to evolve. Each fear was delicately exchanged, as if they were precious gems. Laughter mingled with silence as tears welled, yet suddenly something magical shifted through the circle. Rila spoke up. But here's the truth. Every fear we share is a testament to our strength. They show us how we've navigated life and changed. A consensus of nods echoed as a profound understanding connected them. Voices filled the air, growing stronger, reinforcing the strength accompanying vulnerabilities. As they churned through their feelings, light-hearted stories were lifted above fears. The tales of resilience defined their fabric of existence. Joy sprang back to life. Now let's share what makes us brave, Creve ushered on. They took turns relaying tales of courage, of standing against authority, facing fears, and learning to unite. Together they laughed, celebrated, and cried for the struggles they weathered alone yet together. Slowly, suspicions transformed into trust, while lingering fear faded, replaced with camaraderie, blossoming bonds overflowing around them. With the twilight cascading blankets of crimson and gold around them, each child felt the darkness within them dissolve. Then, Lila declared triumphantly, we're not just friends, we're a team, and that's the bravest thing of all. With a mutual cheer of excitement, laughter radiated across the once mistrustful gathering. Vex felt validated, Creve smiled genuinely, and Rila's heart flared with warmth. The gathering evolved into a celebration of wisdom from shared experiences, creating an alexing self-awareness in every child that vibrated through the air. In their exuberance, they built bridges above the depths of fear and uncertainty. Together, they crafted stories of resilience, strength, and confidence, and it fortified their connection manyfold. The vibrant realization of unity reverberated through the playground like an enchantment, one that shifted perspectives and reshaped the children's understandings of fear, authority, and friendship. As the weeks rolled on, 
The bond between the aliens and human children grew deeper, transcending both differences and backgrounds. Rila, Creve, and Vex each became fixtures within the vibrant societal circle, their days filled with laughter and growth as they enveloped each other in adventures and challenges alike. New stories emerged every day, painted in colors of empathy and enthusiasm. The children embraced their alien friends, all fear dissolved into mere shadows against the light of connection. Underneath a vast cosmic canvas, the children relished the moments, taking trails through parks, constructing more forts, and channeling creativity through art, showcasing what made each individual unique. As trust blossomed, a fantastic idea took root, driven by the fearless spirit Lila had continuously showcased. Let's organize a grand contest, a festival of unity. Show different worlds what we can create together and prove that friendships can transcend fear, she enthused. Visions of decoration flowed through their imaginations, and as things began to materialize, excitement bubbled across the entirety of the playground. They crafted games, collaborated on performances, and gathered stories from every edge of their respective worlds. However, in the back of her mind, Rila felt a niggling anxiety. What if adults show up again and try to dictate how we run things? We'll confront it together if it happens again, Lila said confidently, her passion contagious. The day of the event arrived, an almost mystical atmosphere draping across the playground. Colorful banners fluttered in the gentle breeze, laughter resonated among trees, and the air filled with tantalizing aromas of intergalactic food delicacies prepared by the children themselves. Soon the festival began with collective energy, soaring to new heights. Their games unified everyone present, be they human or alien, and the laughter echoed throughout the universe like a cosmic heartbeat. Yet as both officials of the community and anxiety-carrying adults drew nearer, Rila and her friends felt a shiver of trepidation coursing through them. Old fears echoed through them, whispers of uncertainty on the wind. But this time, the children stood strong. Lila took a big breath and confidently approached the adults. We've organized this event together. Please join us and see the uniqueness we've embraced. As the adults exchanged wary glances, anticipation hung thick in the air. Stepping forward to witness connection, they watched kids negotiate games, collaborate on stories, and join in grand performances. Slowly, a spark ignited within the adults, a realization that faded long-standing misconceptions. Perhaps these children were forging a narrative that couldn't be silenced by fear. As the adults began to engage, previously muted voices carried strength. The festival paved a new path, an exchange between youth and authority, highlighting the beauty within collaboration and openness. Finally, Rila stood with her friends, and they gazed around. The universe felt lighter, as if its stories were weaving threads that linked them together. I see now, Rila whispered, exhilarated. Every voice matters. Every child holds the power of choice. They cheered together. Their festival resonated across the playground, encompassing both alien and human friends in a celebration of understanding and acceptance. Every laugh, every dance, was a testament to their collective strength. As darkness draped its velvet blanket across the sky, Starry lights twinkling above, Rila, Creve, and Vex knew their lives would never be the same. They emerged as beacons of change, carrying humanity's lessons across galaxies. By shattering the narratives of fear, they had birthed something truthfully magnificent, a festival of friendship that pulsed with endless possibilities, a glimpse into a vibrant universe intertwined with shared dreams, forging hope among the stars and a promise of connection in a cosmos once rife with isolation. This journey had etched indelible marks within them, affirming a bond with human children that transcended realms, eschewing fear in favor of compassion. Each heartbeat pulsed as one, the fabric of life woven beautifully by united friends, and the cosmos felt alive with new stories waiting to unfold in every corner of existence.